Hey everybody, it's Jacqueline. Um, we've been getting a lot of really cute pin cushions in for the swap and so um, I just wanted to show them to you because they're really cute and I know um, they're gonna kind of inspire you to go and make something if you haven't done something for the swap yet. Um, it might kind of like light a fire and make you go, ooh, I really wanna make something for the swap. Um, so the swap, we had a due date on it of July 6th, 2024. However, I've had some family stuff come up and I know that I am not going to be able to ship them out that week. So we're going to extend that deadline to give you an extra week. So we're going to make the deadline for getting these into us July 13th. So you've got a whole extra week. Um, so let me just show you some of the ones that we've been getting. If you remember, we did do a, a video earlier, um, maybe a couple weeks ago with some that we had gotten in. So you can go back and look at that one if you want to. So um, this one is from, let's see, Sherry in Colorado. And she did a cute, she just took all of her sellages and sewed them together and made a pin cushion. That's very cute. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show these, um, give you some ideas. Um, this is from Susan in Delaware. And she's got, she pieced, did some piecing and then she's got a little felt um, sunflower on the front with a button that is cute. Um, these don't have to be complicated. You're gonna see that there's all different kinds. Um, you can do your pin cushion however you want. There's lots of different varieties. Um, here's another one that's um, just a little bit of piecing and some fancy trim, cute trim, looks like vintage trim, and then a little button on it. And that is from Elaine in Florida. And everybody's got their name on the back of these, which is great because when you receive your pin cushion, you always want to know where it came from. Um, occasionally we get one where people forgot to put their name on the back and people don't know where it came from and um, they really would like to know. Oh, this is cute. It's a uh, chicken and it's got some beads on it. And this is from Sharon in Georgia. And again, you'll notice if you haven't done the swap with us before or you, have been ha you haven't had time to read the instructions yet, you'll notice these are all flat. We mail them flat because they're easier and cheaper to ship that way. And then when you get yours back, um, you can use any kind of filling you want in it because people had different preferences for their filling. So this is cute. This one is from Melanie in Idaho. And she's got this cute little cactus embroidery on there. That's really cute. Like that. This one is from, let's see, who's this from? This is from Deb. Oh, right up the road from me in New Jersey. And it's a watermelon. And we did have a watermelon pin cushion in one of our club collections. I think it was called Bushels of Sunshine. I think that was the one that was in there. So if you wanna make the watermelon pin cushion, you can look for that in there. Let's see, we've got a whole pile of these. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna get through all of these right now. Oh, this is cute. This is from Christy in Texas. And she did a little applique um, I guess it's like wool felt, little sunflower. And then she's got this little uh, fabric on here that says live life in bloom. So that's really cute, Christy from Texas. And just in case you're thinking, I haven't even started a pin cushion yet. I have no time to do one. Um, it's really like, like I said, it can be anything. You can do just piecing, you can do embroidery, you can do applique. If you've got an orphan block laying around that you can like cut down to a pin cushion size, you can do that. And then what you do, let's see, this one's from Patty in Washington. A little bit of piecing with a heart button. So what you do is once you've got your front done, you just get a piece of fabric that's the same size and you put them right sides together. You sew around the edges and just leave like maybe a two inch opening um, for turning it and stuffing it. So you see, that's it. I mean, if I just take Patty's here and I turn it and turn hers inside out, just to give you a demonstration of how easy it is to make one of these little pin cushions. Okay. So here she's got, this was her piece block. Then she's got her backing fabric, put them right side together, sewed this around here and left this little opening right there. And then you turn it right side out. That's it. That's all it is. So again, go if you haven't done this and you think you don't have time and you wanna take part in our swap, um, go look through those orphan blocks, um, projects that maybe you started and then maybe you didn't like the colors or it wasn't the right size or something. Um, just cut it down if you need to, put a backing on it and you can make a little pin cushion shell out of it um, and send it to us. 
So, um, all right, so that's all I have for today. I mean, I have more. I might do another video later on and show you some more of these. Um, so if you're in the Art of Home Club and you would like to do the swap with us, remember, we're moving the deadline to July 13th. Um, all of the information for this is on the club website. If you go to the club homepage and log in, you're going to see an orange banner at the top that says neighborhood announcements, and it has all kinds of our um, current events on there. And then you can find all the information for our pin cushion swap there. So I hope you'll join us. It's a lot of fun. Everybody likes doing our swap. And uh, that's it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.